Hello, also in last videos we saw how can we install SQL Server cluster instance Digokte on this node one. We also saw how can we download and install SQL Server management studio in order to validate the connectivity of this instance using both SQL as well as Windows authentication. Now in this video, we are going to add a node to this SQL Server cluster instance Digokte. Okay, now in order to do that, so I have documented remaining steps over here uh, in this documentation. Now the very first step we have to do is uh, we have to copy the installer on the second node. So I had downloaded that installer in ISO format. So if I, okay, so this is the ISO file which I had downloaded from uh, Microsoft site. This is the SQL Server Developer Edition again. And I will copy this guy into, now all my three nodes are uh, active and let me log in to node two because we are going to add this node to that SQL Server cluster instance. So again, this uh, this is a domain account. Uh, this account is a local admin for this machine. And I will copy that installer. Let me close this guy. I will copy that installer on C drive. Let me create a new folder called software and let me copy. Adding a node to an uh, to a cluster is uh, it's very easy steps. And what I will do, let me open uh, failure cluster manager as well. Okay, so if I click here, since it is a cluster, Windows cluster, uh, I can see that instance which we had installed on node one over here. So this owner of that instance currently is uh, node one. Okay, this is the default instance which we had created. So if I click here, so this is the IP address which we had specified, it belongs to node one. Perfect. Now, so let's start adding this node, node two, to that cluster, SQL Server cluster. Open a setup file. Okay, now go to the installation tab and here you will get to see an option add node to existing SQL Server failure cluster. So I will click on that. This will take a while. Okay, so uh, we have to select developer edition, next, accept, next. It will ask for update, I will skip this. This is fine, next.
the remaining part is pretty much simple we just have to keep the default setting we don't have to modify anything there okay uh, everything is passed except this guy that's fine i will click next okay now here so this was the sql server cluster instance uh, which we had default instance which we had uh, installed over there on node 1 now since we are over here basically we are adding this node 2 on that cluster instance so that's why name of this node is coming node 2 uh, after that, uh, this is the instance. This was the uh, network name which we had specified, Dgokte, and uh, it belongs to node one. So we are going to add this node to this existing instance. Okay, we don't have to modify anything here. I will just click next. Okay, so this was the IP address which we had specified 192.168.8030. We don't have to modify anything again here. I will click next. I will grant, okay, I will select this. Okay, and see these are the service accounts which we had specified for database engine and uh, SQL server agent. Exactly those got uh, populated here and I will simply specify the password password hash one two three perfect I have selected this click next all right I will install now this step will take a while I will also copy and install SQL Server Management Studio here.
almost finished. Perfect. So all steps got succeeded. I will close this guy. So if we go back to our documentation, so basically we have successfully added this node to our existing dgokte SQL Server failover cluster instance. All right. What I will do now, I will copy uh, SSMS as well, and I will start that installation. I will close this guy. Uh, let me go to C drive software. Okay. Perfect. I will start this installation and let it get finished. and let's go back to our documentation now so in the next video we are going to create a user database so there are default databases here already available we are going to still create a user database and we are going to validate this failover cluster all right so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video